Uh, the next paper is about, also as well about combinations. Um, and uh, Alessandro is going to present combining COVIDs and best uh, definability, uh, joint work with Gia Cavanese, uh, Silvio Pilard, uh, Marco Montali, and the Brivi King. So please, you can start. Thank you so much for the introduction. And um, in this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the extensive use of combined of, of the web definability concept to compute combined covers or uh, equivalently um, uniform interpolants. Indeed, um, in order to transfer covers from two theories to their combination, we identify a sufficient and some sense necessary condition, which is the equality interpolating of the property. And this property is uh, strictly related to web definability, which allows to uh, explicitly define some very useful terms that are used in our um, combined algorithms we provide. So let's start with, with the with the, some, some motivation about our work. So somehow um, the, the general problem we are dealing with is the problem of verification of business process reaches, uh, reached with real data, what we call data where processes. And somehow the, the main goal, so our aim in this context is to bridge the gap the, that exists between processes and data. So the idea is to build a sort of verifier that should balance the data and the process component. And this problem is very challenging because um, we need to express and verify properties that simultaneously take into account not just the process components so the dynamics of, of the system, but also the static components of the data. And uh, uh, because of this presence of data, somehow these systems are intrinsically infinite state. And uh, whenever one has to deal with infinite state systems, um, infinite state model checking techniques, techniques are required. And based on in particular, um, we need a way for symbolically represent the sets of reachable states and the transitions. And the problem is that usually in order to um, compute in a precise way these set of reachable states, uh, one needs to use some sort of quantifier elimination, but quantifier elimination usually is not tractable from a computational point of view. And in contrast, there are other um, methods that are preferred like uh, predicate abstraction or ordinary interpolation, so other methods for symbol elimination, but these methods you, uh, approximate the state. So the, 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 the computation is not exact, even if it is quite efficient. Uh, nevertheless, uh, in uh, some interesting cases like our, so the verification of the processes, this, this problem, the, the problem of quantified elimination becomes tractable. And also it is possible to show that quantified elimination has a strict relation with uniform interpolants studied by, for example, by Deepak or uh, covers studied by Gulbani, which are the same thing somehow. Uh, but uniform interpolants have been studied also in the context of non-classical logics. Uh, so the idea here is that uh, when one wants to model and verify the two processes, uh, we need to reason in different theories. So in the combination of theories, for example, one for uh, accounting for the read-only data that are stored in a database or elements from some value domains like uh, multiple values. And here the important question is, is it possible? And if so, under which conditions to transfer covers from two co component theories, T1, T2, to the, com to the combined theories in the case of disjoint signatures. And mm, here just a very brief example. So if you consider this, this model that we introduced, states are represented using quantifier-free formulas, transitions are existential formulas. And here you can see that these existential um, you have two kinds of, of values. The D values are taken, for example, from the persistent data from a database, and the I elements are taken from some arithmetical domains. 
So the idea when, when you want to verify the system is that you have to compute pre-images if you want to use our backward chaviality te uh, technique, uh, our symbolic version. But if you start from a, um, a state formula, so a quantified pre formula, when you compute the pre-image pre of this state formula, you have to introduce these quantifiers. And the problem is that, that doing that, um, the, the, the new uh, formula you get, it's not a state formula. So somehow the idea is to eliminate these uh, existential quantifiers and the idea is to use covers. But in this case, covers um, are taken from different theories. Uh, that, so somehow the idea is to compute combined covers. So let's state the contribution. We provide a general algorithm for computing combined covers. And the hypotheses are the same that are needed for transferring quantifier free interpolation, so the equality interpolation condition. And we prove that is, in some sense it is also a necessary condition. And in order to introduce this algorithm, we have to use uh, path definability. And also we show a very interesting counterexample for the non-transferring of covers in the non-convex case. So let's start with some uh, preliminaries that are needed, for example, the notion of quantifier free interpolation. So if you have two quantifier free formulas, uh, um, formula alpha and beta, such that alpha implies beta, a quantifier free interpolant is a formula gamma that interpolates, which is quantifier free. And we say that theory is quantifier free interpolating if uh, this holds for every, every pair. Uh, also, this is a very important notion for the notion of stable infinite theory. So if every t satisfiable constraint is satisfiable in an infinite model, T. And also the other crucial notion is the one of convex theory. So whenever you have a constraint delta that implies a disjunction, uh, one of the disjuncts of the disjunction is, uh, is implied. And the convex theory somehow is almost stable infinite in the sense that for constraints uh, that are satisfiable in, 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 in models with at least two elements. So the other uh, fundamental notion here is the notion of uniform interpolants. So covers, of course, uniform interpolants are uh, quantifier free, inter uniform quantifier free interpolants are quantifier free interpolants. And the idea is that a, a formula Psi is a uniform interpolant of an existential formula if it is an implied formula by by the existential formula, but also it is the let's say the strongest formula that is implied in the sense that it implies all the other formulae that are implied by C by psi. And we say that the theory has the quantifier for interpolation if this holds for every existential formula. And in some sense, in this formula psi, the variables here have been eliminated because it depends only on y. And in general, uh, psi, of course, does not imply the existential formula. Um, so, us so usually they are not the equivalent. Of course, we, by, by definition, we know that uh, psi is implied by, by the existential, but usually does not imply. So the, the relation that we have uh, between covers and the very important notion from model theory, which is model completion, is this one, the, the idea of, of model completion is of a theory T is a theory T star in the same signature that is um, the, somehow the closest theory that has uh, the quantifier elimination. So closest in the sense that, that every sigma constraints that is satisfiable in a model of T is satisfiable also in a model of T star and T star means quantifier elimination. So the, the, the main theorem uh, here is that um, a theory T has model completion if and only if T has the uniform quantifier for inter interpolation and T star is axiomatized by this formula. And you can see here that Psi in, in, this, in these axioms is exactly the cover of the existential formula that we, that we have on, on the right side. And, and, and this is the other way around, the other implication. So basically in T star, this, this Psi is exactly the, the quantifier free formula that, uh, that eliminates the, the E variables from, apart from the existential formula. So here we can say that computing covers in a theory T is equivalent to eliminating quantifiers in its model completion to start. 
So let's move on to uh, the sufficient condition that we were going to use in our algorithm, which is the quality interpolated condition that is due to Hirsch and Muzumati. And we say that the theory is a quality interpolating if for every pair, uh, delta one, delta two, every pair of variables, uh, y1, y2, uh, whenever uh, y1 is equal to y2 is implied by the constraints, there exists a term such that some, somehow this term interpolates the equality. So it does interpolate the implication somehow about the interpolate. So you have that y1 is equal to t and y2 is equal to t. And uh, there are many examples of that, of uh, quantified interpolating and also quality interpolating theories, uh, for example, uh, WEF, uh, cross data theories, uh, linear arithmetics, and so on. So um, this is the, the sufficient condition for transfer quantifier free interpolants. So you have this uh, condition, this, uh, this hypothesis. So universal convex stable infinite theory to, to um, theory T1, T2 that, that have these conditions. And if both are equality interpolating and, and have the quantifier for interpolation, the union, the combination has the same properties. So quantify the um, quality interpolating condition is sufficient for transferring quantifier for interpolation. And somehow the equality interpolating condition is also a necessary condition since it is necessary for, for the minimal combination Somehow, if we start from, from a theory T that is equal to interpolating, and we want to, co to combine it with AOF uh, in order to, to maintain the quantifier for interpolation, we need the, the equality interpolating property. And equality interpolating property is also very, is also uh, related to Beth definability. This is the definition of Beth definability. Somehow we say that. A uh, formula like that implicitly defines y if when you rename y in, uh, to uh, y prime, uh, the definition that you get is the same. So uh, it, it implies that y is equal to y prime. So uh, y and y prime are implicitly defined, but they are explicitly defined if uh, there exists a concrete proper explicit term such that this y is equal uh, to, to this. T and a theory is said to, to have the bad definability property if whenever a, for a primitive formula explicitly defines the variable y, then it also it, it implicitly defines the variable, the variable y, then it also explicitly defines it. And the key theorem that, that we're, we're using later on is that the convex theory that has a quantified interpolation is a quality interpolating if and only if the bad definability property holds. So, in this case, an equality interpolating condition about definability are equivalent notions. So let's start with saying something about the, the convex algorithm that, that we have. So um, the hypotheses that we have in order to execute this algorithm are always the same, a convex, stable, infinite, quality interpolating, universal, and admitting model completion. Remember that admitting model completion means that um, that the theory has covers the, 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 the theory T because uh, of the theorem I stated before. And uh, we, it's very useful to use this, uh, this, this formula, which is the, uh, I call it, uh, we, we call it implied F. And somehow this, the, the meaning of this, the intuitive meaning of this formula is just that um, uh, the, 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 this is the, the uh, um, implicit definition of uh, yi uh, through the, the formula phi. And uh, there's a very useful ter uh, uh, lemma here, and I will call it the useful terms lemma, which states that whenever you have the, the disjunctive normal form of this implied death, you can obtain some terms Tij using the Beth definability property, which holds here because of the key theorem, because uh, these, these theories are equality interpolating. And uh, this term um, somehow explicitly defines the, the uh, yi term. So, um, Somehow, in order to, to compute combined covers, uh, we would like to, to, to start with an initial formula that has this uh, 
this form and we would like to compute the, 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 the T1 union T2 cover. And the idea is to eliminate these existential E variables from phi and the X variables will be the same. And by applying some rewriting purification steps, we can somehow um, assume that the formula uh, phi can be uh, of, the, of the kind uh, F1 and uh, um, F2, uh, phi, phi 2, where phi i is, uh, is uh, in sigma i, in the sigma i signature. And also we're going to use this explicit, uh, um, a cyclic explicit definition, this exp uh, def, and the idea of this is, is that somehow the zi variable is defined through the other zi variable, uh, uh, zj variable that have been already defined and also the parameters x. And uh, the algorithm uh, will use this working formula. So you have this explicit definition at the beginning and also the, the, the purified and uh, uh, psi in i in the in, uh, in sigma i signature and we'll call these x the parameters the variables are not going to change z will be the defined variables and e the variables that should be eliminated somehow so uh, they um, a working formula uh, a particular form of working formula is the one is the terminal one so this is the definition the idea is that in every Theory T i C i implies the negation of the implied F. And okay, this is quite technical, but the idea is that if a formula is a terminal formula, um, either uh, every the, the variables are explicitly defined or uh, are not implicitly defined. This is the idea. And the algorithm works as follows. So you start from the initial formula. And you can mm, you can rewrite it to a, a working formula and applying this non-deterministic procedure, uh, you can obtain uh, a terminal working formula. So yeah, the, the algorithm is quite technical, but maybe the, the the most interesting part is the second one. So in case you um, you select uh, a EI variable. Uh, you have to add to psi h a disjunct from implied def. And when you do that, you have to add this ei equal tej to the explicit definition. So this variable ei becomes defined, it wasn't defined before. And these tij are exactly the useful terms that, are, that exist uh, thanks to the uh, useful terms lemma. And they are obtained applying the Beth definability property. So that's why we have an extensive use of the path definability property. And the output will be the disjunction of all um, the formula that we get in every, in every leaves of the, of the tree generated by this non-deterministic procedure. So um, this is the correctness theorem somehow. So it states that uh, starting from an initial formula and then applying the algorithm when we get this a terminal working formula, we can um, extract by unfolding the explicit definitions of, of the variable Z, a cover of, of the union by computing the T1 cover of uh, Psi1 and the T2 cover of uh, Psi2. And so we have reduced the problem of computing covers, uh, of combined covers to the problem of computing uh, covers in the component theories. And from the main lemma, the, in this proposition and the relation between covers and quantified elimination, we get that, of course, if we have this hypothesis, uh, the union uh, admits the model completion too. And that means that it has covers and these covers can be computed using this algorithm I presented before. So a quality interpolating is also a necessary condition in the sense that if we want to, um, to compute covers in, uh, and to, to have the minimal possible, the, more, the most reasonable somehow uh, combination, so with AOF, uh, we need it. So the idea is that, of course, if we assume the same hypothesis, um, uh, in order to, to have that T union AOF ad, uh, admits covers, has, has covers, uh, T uh, should be a quality interpolating. 
And of course, it is a, a consequence from the necessity theorem for the transfer of quantified free interpolation. And uh, I will conclude just with a counterexample. So in case of non-convex theories, um, even in the case quantifier free combined covers exist, uh, combined interpolants exist, um, in general, we don't have covers. Uh, so that means that convexity cannot be dropped somehow. And um, this is the, the example, the counterexample, if you consider T1 as the integer difference logic, but you can also consider uh, linear integer arithmetic, for example. And it is, it is not convex, but it satisfies the equality to equality condition in its um, non-convex version. I just gave you the convex version of the equality to equality condition, but that's also the other one. And uh, with AOF, uh, and you consider this uh, formula here in the proposition, well, this formula does not have a cover. And so somehow we cannot, we cannot eliminate this hypothesis. So let's conclude. Uh, I will just sum up what, what, what we presented. So we attack the problem of combining covers and we identified uh, we devised some su sufficient and necessary condition for transferring covers uh, in the convex case. And this, we provide a very general method and uh, proper algorithm for doing that in the convex case. And this is based on the best definability property. And in general, um, the, the notion of covers uh, is not transferred in the you know, convex case. And okay, future work. Uh, of course, uh, we are we are investigating the, the the another kind of cover transfer is the Tame theory. We call it the Tame theory combination. So where um, there are some domain sorts that are shared. Uh, somehow this this works. Uh, this work has been already done and is available in the archive version, the extended version of this paper. And uh, we would like to study also the, the problem of, of cover transfer in the non-disjoint signature case. And okay, this is a list of references and thank you so much. Thank you, Alessandro. Um, any questions? Please raise your hands. Questions in the chat, Q and A. Comments? Um, so what's the relation uh, with uh, um, between these same theories and the convex and non-convex theories that you've been investigating? Uh, is there any reason, any reasonable uh, relation between them? Well, yes, the problem is that the convex, uh, I mean, the, the algorithm we presented is the disjoint signatures case. Here, if we have some sorts that are shared, somehow it's not a disjoint, a proper disjoint case. So this is the great difference. But yeah, of course, I mean, the, the idea is not that different in, in this specific case that we are dealing with, which is also related to our, our application, because in our application, we apply it in the context of um, arithmetics. For example, when we have some terminal sorts in our multi-sorted signatures, we have the terminal sorts, which are arithmetical sorts. And um, it, it, it's, it's very important for our application for database-driven uh, verification to do that. And the idea is not that different, but in the general case of um, non, uh, in the non-disjoint signatures general case, it would be much, much more complicated. So right. this is somehow, this is, a non uh, this is still a, a non-disjoint case, but it's quite more similar to the disjoint case than, than the, the most general one. Okay, uh, Maria Paula is asking uh, if cover and uniform uh, uniform interpolant are the same thing, or if there is any difference between them. Yeah, uh, of course, cover is equivalent to a uniform quantifier free interpolant. Yeah, they are the same. The problem is that in the literature you can find both of them. So we, we I mean, it's not up, up to us that, that there are two definitions, two notions. 
because uh, in the context of uh, uh, non-classical logics, uh, uh, since the 90s, you have uh, uniform interpolant, also in modal logic, in, in, in intuitive logic and so on. And, but in, um, in the verification uh, literature, uh, Gulvani and Musuvati use this uh, cover. Uh, also Deepak uh, used the uniform interpolants, I suppose. So, but yeah, basically they are the same thing. Cover is a uniform quantifier for interpolant. All right, thank you very much. And um, this is all we have time for. Thank you very much on behalf of everyone.